Happening here at home, a hidden gem in southwest Michigan is recovering after someone robbed and vandalized the only community center in New Troy. It happened a day after the center collected donations during a free children's movie festival and pancake breakfast. 16 News Now reporter Jack Springate joins us live outside that facility to tell us how you can help them bounce back. Jack. Well, in a place like New Troy, a small community center like this can end up making a really, really big difference. In a town of less than 500 people, there's nothing quite like it anywhere else around. When I was little, my grandma would take me here and we would play and Miss Sally would read to us. Thomas has a lot more memories to make here at the New Troy Community Center, but right now he'll have to wait until the board that runs this facility recovers from the recent vandalism incident that left their floors a mess and their donation box empty. Like this whole area here, and then you could tell where the fan was turned on. One of the board members for the Friends of New Troy says someone broke in last Sunday. They smashed into the donation box and took all the money raised during their event the day before. Now the money to continue their monthly gatherings and community offerings is gone. There is no other community center in our area and I think that at this point it's the cornerstone of New Troy. It's the thing that remains and New Troy has a beautiful history. The vandalism came in the form of all this dust left behind by someone using a fire extinguisher and this is after some attempts to clean it up. Between the stolen money and the mess left behind, they're asking for some help with recovery, even though they're used to having to look out for themselves. When we get out of the tourist zones, when we get out of the places, there are still people here who are doing the grassroots work to build strong communities for people to move forth from. So one day, the new Troy Community Center will be around for Thomas's kids to make their own memories. And I'll have a link in this story on our website as well for anyone who's interested in not only donating money, but also donating time, volunteer hours. That's something that is really in need over here. And they're also planning on making upgrades to the security system inside and adding some security cameras to try and prevent uh, an, uh, something like this from ever happening again. For now, reporting live here in New Troy, I'm Jack Springate, 16 News Now. All right, Jack, thank you very much. Well, right now, a 